Okay, so uh, this is Brian Hegney. I'm an instructor, uh, an, associ an assistant professor of game design. And I am kind of making my own game here, Powie McCutesy. And what I want to do now is I've got a shitty little mesh here. And I'm going to just, this is just for fun purposes, um, I'm going to download a couple animations to kind of build a an animation blueprint in Unreal Engine 5 to kind of create for a um, playable character. That is a uh, guinea pig. So I want idle. I want a... What else do I want? A walk animation. No, not a circle, not a backwards, not that. That's... No. Hmm, standard walk. Let's do that in place. Hmm, I kind of want something a little fancier. I don't know. Swagger walk. No. Scary clown walk. <laughs> no, maybe for the enemies. Oh, maybe this. An old man walk. That might be good for walking. Okay, I'm going to pause this while I just look for walks. Okay, so I kind of like this one, this uh, tipsy toey walk. I think that's good for a guinea pig, so I'm going to download that without skin. And we'll go call that Powie underscore... I'll call that toe walking. And I'm going to look for a run. Yes, that looks good. A fast run. Slow run, actually. Yeah, slow run is probably a little bit better. It's not really slow, so... How he slow run. Now I'm going to look for a jump. Wow. Let's try this. Yeah, so this looks good, but what I'm going to do is trim off the first frames, right? Because I want it. Yep, there we go. Let's actually set that to 50. That looks good. Without skin. That's like the first part of the jump. Powie jumping up. And then there's something I know in the Mixamo thing called falling. Um, idle. <sighs> I kind of want it rotated though. Shorts.
It's kind of annoying. Body angle. Maybe this is actually better. Let's go ahead and download that, I suppose. And I'm going to call that Jumping Falling. And there's a reason why I just want to group them all together. And then I want to get this landing, and so I'm going to trim off the first half. Yeah. So when it touches down, yeah, maybe 40. Yep, let's try that. I have no idea how that's going to work. And this is going to be called jumping landing. I probably should have done it a different way. Who knows? So now I've got three different following sections, um, idle, a walking, and a running. And I think that's all I need at the moment. Um, eventually, I'll want to get some action things like punching. You know what? Maybe I need a punching. Elbow punching, punching, so let me go ahead and click that into overdrive, and let me trim, yeah, I want it to happen really quickly, and character arm space, if I set that, yeah. There. I think that could be that could be really good. I'm not sure what style means. Ooh, there we go. That's quick. <laughs> oh, what about range? Okay. Oh, let's reset that. What if I take it back? Okay. All right. That should be good enough. Boom, boom, boom. That's really weird. Okay. Download that without skin, and we'll say punch right. Powie punching right. Let me go ahead and see if I can mirror that. And download that and call that Powie punching left. And I guess I will look for one more kick. What about a flip kick? Would that work? <laughs> um, let's trim that. Is that going to be good? Trim just maybe the tent. 
Yeah, I kind of like it. What if character arm space? 13 frames. No, I like it. Let's trim off a little bit at the end. Overdrive is good. Okay, let's try it. Download. Howie. Flip kick. Do I want to do an MMA? Yes, I do. Of course, overdrive that. Trim a tiny little bit. Yep. Push that forward. Okay. Let's do Powy MMA kick right. And let me just mirror that and then do. How we am I make it left? There we go. For right now, I'm kind of done with that. Let's turn off the animation so it just goes to the T pose. Come back to UE. Let's go ahead and import all of those. Except I don't need the T pose and I don't need. Oops. Don't need the T pose, don't need idle. Okay, cool. Open them all. They're all going to go to the Powy T pose skeleton and import all. Cool. Got everything here. Um, let's just take a look at one of them. There, that's cool. All right. And that's the end of this. In the next video, what I'm going to do is just hook them all up into an animation blueprint.